Hello everyone, my name is Flo Alexander and I'm so glad you're here. I'm sure you've all noticed by now that in the same way that fashion is cyclical, home decor trends too come, go, and come again. What goes around most certainly comes back around and what was popular at one period in time will inevitably make its way back into our homes in the future. On the other hand, I've seen how fleeting trends can be, especially in the last year. And with the growing influence from those that we're privy to online, it's easy to become bogged down by these fashion and try to keep up with everyone and everything all at once. I'm here to tell you it's okay to be different and that the process of curating and developing your own authentic style is a journey after all, and not a destination. These thrift outings, for me, have been a way to source unique and eclectic home decor finds that I genuinely enjoy having in my home. And better yet, I'm scoring these pieces affordably, and I can only hope that these outings inspire you to do the same. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and follow me along this weekly venture for more styling, thrift hauls, and home decor inspiration. Leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed spending time with me today. And give me a follow over on Instagram at Botox now. If you're only tuning into my channel here on YouTube each Saturday, you're missing out on a ton of behind the scenes home decorating and styling posts. Now, without further ado, Let's jump right into it. All right, you guys, I have to admit I was so surprised to see this handkerchief vase here at Goodwill. Off the top of my head, I can tell you it's a Merla vase that was made in Finland. I sourced one a few weeks back, but this one is much larger and so beautiful. I'm always curious to know who donates items like this. Look at the ruffled edge detail. This piece is fantastic, and at only $2.99, it's an absolute steal when others sell for $50 to $100 online. I'll be honest, I had no idea what this was at first. I could make out that it was a forged iron sculpture of some sort, but you better believe I whipped out my phone and googled up a storm while I made my rounds and come to find out this Jack Brubaker candle holder sells for well over $300 online. I love calla lilies, I have an arrangement of them in my apartment, and this artistic piece was definitely a treasure at only $5.99. They had a complete set of three glass cylinder hurricane vases that sat atop a metal stand here. Very simple and clean in design. The prices ranged from $3.99 to $5.99 a piece, so they were very affordable too. You could likely use this to house a pillared candle or some sort of vase filler, maybe even a plant of some sort. I've seen similar styles sell on overstock, but they're usually much more expensive, at least $25 or more each. I have absolutely no business looking at tableware and dishware, but my hopes and dreams are to entertain my friends and family again here in the near future. I thought these plates were beautiful, I love the rib detailing around the edge, but for those of you who have followed me for some time would know as much. You'd also be quick to guess that these were in fact made by Mikasa, there was an entire set and all were in perfect condition and only 99 cents each. I love compote dishes and bowls. I think they have an eye-catching silhouette, and the sterling silver-plated variation was no exception. For only $2.99, I'm sure this piece could easily be cleaned up and displayed. The same could be said of this floral-shaped wire basket. I swear I found about a dozen of these mid-century styled silver bread baskets out and about, I have this same variation, but I was quick to polish it up and bring it back to its intended state. My love for New York City runs deep, and I thought these crystal salt and pepper shakers were too cool. They're made in the image of the Chrysler Building by Shannon Crystal Designs of Ireland, though they were made in the Czech Republic. Each piece was $3.99, and the set, in better condition, sells for $30 on eBay. I've seen so many colored glass pieces at Goodwill from higher-end big box stores like West Elm, like Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel. These aqua and bluish colored bases and canisters were actually really pretty and would definitely be a pop of color against a more neutral color palette. 
At $1.99 to $3.99 per piece, the entire assortment was not all that expensive. I imagine a set of canisters like this on an open shelf in a kitchen, arranged in a bookshelf, or sitting atop a bathroom countertop filled with toiletries. Very rarely do I find artwork that catches my eye, but being from California and having visited the Half Dome in Yosemite, this print really stood out to me. This poster-sized lithograph by the photographer Ansel Adams will run around $60 to $100 online unframed, and an original from the 1960s will set you back well over $800. All right, you guys, so I actually had to relocate to my bedroom. We do have work on the exterior of the building that's happening right outside my front door. So it's a little too loud in my living room, but I thought this would be a fantastic time to kind of give you guys a glimmer of my bedroom and dive right into all of the incredible finds that I found this week. The first incredible piece that I found out at Goodwill was this fantastic Merla vase. Now I found another variation of this vase. It was a lot smaller, but I got that at a local vintage shop about two or so months back. I paid around $8 then. I think I only paid $2.99 for this vase this time around, and it's nearly double the size. It is made of a rippled clear glass. It was hand-blown, made in Finland, so it's very Scandinavian in design. Now this piece is vintage. It was handcrafted in the 1980s and it's very similar to that Murano style glass from Italy which is known for being very whimsical. There's a lot of movement in the glass. It's amazing to me that I only found this piece for $2.99 because they sell for upwards of $50 to $150 online on websites like eBay, like Etsy, and on Cherish too. Crate and Barrel actually has a very similarly styled vase online. It's a modern twist and it's called the Evelyn base. In this size, I believe it's around $29 for those of you who are interested. All right, you guys, now what would a haul of mine be without a Mikasa feature? I actually found this incredible set of the Diamond Fire collection. They're technically salad plates, but I would probably use these more for appetizers or hors d'oeuvres. They're about seven and a half inches in diameter, so it's a pretty substantial sized plate, and they are made in the Diamond Fire collection, so they have that ribbed detailing all around the edge. I only paid 99 cents per plate and actually for context there were 14 of the plates and I initially only took 12 of them because they are sold individually. If you buy a set of four you get them for $2.99 so you actually save around a dollar. I ended up going back later on in the week and still saw the other two sitting there and I couldn't leave them behind so I decided to pick them up and add them to this growing collection of Mikasa pieces that I have. Now, from the research that I've done, they do have different sizes in this collection. So they have the serving plate, they have the dinner plate, and online on the replacement websites, they carry them for around $23 each, which I think is insane. At 99 cents, they were much more reasonable, and they were crafted in Japan. This Diamond Fire collection, I've mentioned it before, was only in distribution from 1985 to 2007 when it was discontinued. These plates do make a beautiful addition in my growing Mikasa collection, and I just thought for the price, what an incredible find. Next up is the piece de resistance. You guys, I was so excited to find this double stemmed calla lily candle holder on the shelf at Goodwill. Now this piece was fashioned in the brutalist style. It is made of a forged wrought iron metal. It's vintage from the 1970s or 80s and it actually has a maker's mark which says J Brew Baker. So I took it upon myself to do the research online and found out that Jack Brew Baker is still a very popular popular blacksmith and artist. He works with an assortment of metals and you can purchase very similar renditions online for anywhere from $95 to $225. Now this piece in particular, I saw it selling on Etsy and on eBay for upwards of $300 to $400. I only paid $5.99, so needless to say, it was a fraction of that price. You could utilize this for its intended purpose as a candle holder. You would place the tapered candlestick inside of the calla lily itself, but I plan to use this as more of a standalone work of art. It's very sculptural and unlike anything that I've seen out before. 
All right, you guys, now to switch things up a bit, I did stop into HomeSense, my old stomping ground, and I found these beautiful polished marble canisters. Now these caught my eye, not only because they're made of natural stone, we all know that I seek out marble pieces when I'm thrifting or when I go to vintage shops, but they were only $9.99. They have the same coloring and veining as the marble wine chiller and the set of coasters that I purchased from Goodwill a few weeks back. I purchased those pieces so inexpensively. I wanna see the marble wine chiller from Crate and Barrel was around $5.99 and the set of four coasters was $4. So it was about a dollar a piece. Similar styles will run you anywhere from $29 to $85 at Pottery Barn, Williams Sonoma, Crate and Barrel. And I thought they were the perfect kitchen countertop accessory. They're perfect for holding flour, sugar, oats, you name it. And they did come with that rubber or silicone gasket. So they are airtight. Now I still shop at Home Goods and Home Sense. It's just been a while since I've done a video there because the pieces at big box stores haven't been inspiring me like they used to. To be completely honest, I enjoy the thrill of the hunt. The quality of the pieces that I've been sourcing out at Goodwill far outweighs anything I've come across recently in a big box store and I don't know, I've been having a lot more fun shopping on the secondhand market. And last but certainly not least is another really eclectic set of forged candle holders. Now this is actually the second time that I found these out at Goodwill and I only paid around $1.99 each which for this set is pretty incredible. They do have a maker's mark on them. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see this but it does say S. A. So I'm not sure who the blacksmith is on these. I've searched high and low and unfortunately I came up with no results. I did however find another pair selling on eBay for around $45 and I think it was like $10 shipping. So I thought that was pretty incredible just for a price comparison because I did get such a deal. They're very reminiscent of other works that I've seen floating around online on eBay, on Etsy, on Cherish by the blacksmith Lance Cloutier. His pieces are often fashioned in the brutalist style as well and they're made of iron, very sculptural in appearance. And I don't know, I just thought these would be another really unique addition to my growing collection of candle holders. Anyway, that's it for this week's video, my friends. Be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know which of the items I sourced this week was your favorite. Hit the thumbs up button to like this video and let me know that you enjoyed this week's Home Decor haul. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and accompany me on this weekly Home Decor journey. Follow me over on Instagram at BotoxNow for more day-to-day -day posts and inspiration. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that you won't miss an upcoming video. I hope you all have the best day and until next time, bye.